Good morning, good people. Today we celebrate the feast of St. Clair, our mother and sister. She was born in Assisi in 1193 to a noble family. On March 18, at the year 2011, she joined the movement in, initiated by St. Francis. She then was followed by her sister, Ines, and later they are joined by their mother, Ortolana. She's the only woman who has written a rule for her own community. And just before her death, it was approved by the Pope. She wrote little, but we can see in her writings a woman a open heart with an immense love to Jesus, to her sisters, to St. Francis and his brothers, and to all who need her help and love. We can see the beauty that was in her heart. It portrayed in her letters to Ines a proud. I think in Ines, she not only sees her, but all her sisters, presents, and those that will come later. In her third letter to Ines, we sense the joy that she feels for the achievements of her friend. And she expresses saying, who could prevent me to rejoice in such admirable reasons for joy? Therefore, dearly beloved, she says to Ines, may you two always rejoice in the Lord, and may neither bitterness nor a cloud of sadness overwhelm you. O oh, dearly beloved lady in Christ, joy of the angels and crown of your sisters. Apply your mind to the mirror of eternity. Let your soul immerse itself in the splendor of its glory. Place your heart in the figure of the divine substance and transform your whole being into the image of the Godhead itself through contemplation, so that you too may feel what his friends feel as they taste the hidden sweetness which God himself has reserved from the beginning for those who love him. I leave you with this beautiful course of St. Clair. May God bless you.